Thanks for joining me tonight for Home Strength. My name is Ken, health fitness specialist at Mitre Bedford. So for tonight's class, you're gonna need a pair of dumbbells. Actually, you just need one dumbbell. Just need one dumbbell. Uh, something you can overhead press for 30 seconds. We're also doing a single armed renegade row on the floor for 30 seconds, All right? If the weight you have happen to be too heavy for the movements given, feel free to take a break after a few reps. Right? Don't let your form get too sloppy. Use your best judgment. We're going to warm up now. We're going to jog in place for one minute. We're going to start that up in three, two, one. Here we go. Just bouncing back and forth. It's a hot one today. Hope my AC is not too loud. All right, 30 more seconds and we're switching to high knees. Pump those arms, get those knees nice and high. If you don't want to jump, just march in place, grab your knees up, go for 30 seconds. Just need 10 more. Five, four, three, two. One, all right, air squats, 30 seconds, here we go. Feet shoulder width apart, back on those heels. Squeeze your glutes on the way up. About halfway. About 10 more. A little off. Five, four, three, two, one. Single leg deadlift. We'll get five each leg. All right, so let's start with your left leg down, right leg up. Drag that right leg to the ceiling. As that leg comes up, everything else goes down. Get a nice stretch, come right back, we're doing five, five each side. Once you get five each leg, keep some arm circles. Get 10 forward, 10 backwards. Make them as big as you want. All right, you just need one dumbbell for our first circuit. First thing we're doing, one arm, squat to overhead press. So we'll say left arm first, right? You're gonna have that dumbbell right outside your head. I like a neutral grip, so your palm's gonna face you. Elbow in, and just squat down. And as we over, as we squat up, we start that overhead press, right? So you want your legs to help you out a little bit, right? You're transferring the momentum, transferring the energy from your legs up to the shoulder, right? What I don't want you to do is squat, then overhead press. We want to make this a full body exercise, right? So we got that for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna take it down to the floor. Same arm, right? That left arm. Renegade, bro. You can kneel down, do it on your feet. Nice, strong core. 
rows for 30 seconds. You can also do a bent over row as a modification. Let's do 30 seconds. Once we've done both sides, right, left, right, both movements, we're gonna do push-ups. Regular push-up, do as many as you can for 30 seconds. Of course, you can do them on your knees. Hold the plank if you need to, right? So squat overhead press, one arm renegade row. Do the left side, right side, then push-ups. That's one round. We're only doing two, all right? Oh, UPS is here, all right. I'm gonna turn off the AC. I'll turn it on when I can't take the heat anymore, all right. So left arm, squat overhead press, three, two, one, go. By the way, we're doing 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest. If you guys know, all right. Oh, my son just woke up from his nap. All right, we got 10 left. Three, two, one. All right, left arm will renegade row. 10 seconds. Or any row variation. Three, two, one. Here we go, nice strong core. Halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, take it up. Left arm's gonna go now. I mean, our right arm. Right arm. <laughs> Get other side. Squat press. Three, two, one. Here we go. <clears throat> About 10 more. Three, two, one. All right, get ready for rows. Three, two, one, go. Doing push ups after this one. Ten more. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo, got our push ups now. Thirty seconds. Many push ups as you can. Three, two, one. Here we go. Halfway. Ten more. Remember, hold the plank if you need to. Stay in that plank if you need to. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, we got one more, one more round. This time, I want to start with your right arm. Right arm first. Three, two, one. Here we go. Or whatever. Any side. It's getting hot in here. We go five, four, three, two, one. Renegade row. Same side, it should be your right side. 
Three, two, one, go. Remember, nice strong core. You want minimal hip movement. Hips might move a little. Just don't let it turn. Do a rolling plank. I love rolling planks, but it's not what we're doing right now. Ten more. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. All right, we got the other side. Should be your left arm, right? Squat press. Three, two, one. Here we go. About halfway. So I have to keep this arm out for a little counterbalance. Helps a little bit. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Woo! Renegades. Three, two, one. Here we go. Halfway. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, I've got them push ups. <laughs> Gonna take a big break. All right, three, two, one, go. Twenty more. Kneel down if you need to. Keep working. Fifteen. Keep working. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Woo! There you go. All right, take a break. A little break. Get the focus on legs next. We're staying in that 30 second, 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest. Do that same interval again. You can hold dumbbells if you want. Definitely not necessary. You know what is necessary? Water. Make sure you guys are hydrating. All right, so first thing we're doing, reverse lunge into a curtsy. All right, so you want to step backwards. Then, instead of just coming right back, you're going to go into a curtsy lunge. Bring that leg in, right down. All right. 30 seconds on each leg. Then, right after that, you want to get in that sumo stance. Legs nice and wide. Toes out. Make sure you push your knees out during your squat. You're going to pulse it here. Tiny pulses. Staying low, keeping those knees out. Then we're doing a single legged hip thrust. So I want your shoulders elevated on your couch or chair, whatever's nearby. One leg up. You want to squeeze your glute on that leg. Hips go up and down. And I like to prop one leg over the other. All right, it's a little easier than doing this. All right, so if you want to make more challenge, hold your leg up like that. If you want to cheat like me, 
It's not really cheating. It's not that much easier. Yeah, that's it. So we got three rounds, right? Weights if you want, not necessary. Pick a leg, any leg. Reverse lunge, curtsy. All right, let's hit that in three, two, one. Here you go. Back and in. Straight back and in. We got like 10 more. Woo! Do the glute here. Three, two, one. Woo! Other side in 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Go for it. Halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. Sumo pulses. Woo. It's a leg burner here. In three, two, one. Pulse it out. It's be a good one to hold the dumbbell, right? Either letting it hang or in that goblet position. Halfway. Ten more. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Single leg hip thrust. Three, two, one, here we go. We've got 30 seconds each leg. Doing all the legs today. All the fun leg exercises. Ten more now. Five, four, three, two. One, all right, wait 10 seconds before we do that other side. Three, two, one, here we go. Woo, I might need that AC on. So halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Back to the beginning. Pick a side, any side. Reverse lunge, curtsy. Three, two, one, go. It's hot in here. We need ten more. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Three, two, one. Other side. Here we go. Ten more now. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Sumos. Eight 
and go. Nice big chest. If you are holding the weight, don't let that weight round your back. Halfway. <clears throat> Ten more. Five, four, three, two, one. Hip thrust. Three, two, one, get it. You can also do a bridge on the floor. All right, 10 more now. Keep squeezing that glute on the working leg. Three, two, one, give it 10 seconds. Or the switch sides. Woo! Three, two, one, here we go. So keep breathing. Inhale all the way down, exhale on the up. Got 10 more. Let it burn. Embrace it. Three, two, one. Got one more set. Reverse lunge to a curtsy. Woo! Three, two, one. Here we go. more. Legs should be burning right about now. Three, two, one. Other side. Three, two, one. Let's go. more. Just doing core work after this. Ten more. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew, almost done. Almost done. Three, two, one. Two more pulses. All right, once we get this done, got the bridges, or the hip thrust, and it's core work. We're good. Almost done, guys. Halfway here. Keep pushing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! All right, all right. I'll do bridges this time. Just to demonstrate. Keep my patient. Three, two, one, go. Bridge your hip thrust doesn't matter, right? Squeeze that glute on that working leg. You know, it's supposed to be a little easier, but it's really not that much easier. Ten more. If you really want to modify it, uh, do a bridge on both legs. He says during the third round. Three, two, one. All right. Other side in three, two, one. Here we go. Then we take a big break. Twenty more. Yeah, my kids are crazy up there. Feel that glue, right? Squeeze it. 
Do a little pause up there, make sure it's squeezing. 10 more. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, a little break. Cool work next. This workout's flying by. Next time flies, we're having fun, right? Oh yeah. All right, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off, three rounds. First one's a plank up down. We're alternating. All right, so you're in that plank. Course to course tight. Trying to keep your hips parallel to the floor throughout the movement. So you're gonna do your right arm first. Right arm leads the way down, then it leads the way up. Then you'll do your left arm. Left arm down, left arm up. Just keep alternating. All right. I'll do that again over here. All right, so right arm first, then the left arm. You can do that on your knees. Of course, hold the plank if you need to. Number two is gonna be a jackknife crunch. Which will be a leg raise. We just add a crunch to it. Arms overhead. Your hands and feet don't touch the floor in between reps. Right? So you're always under tension. And our third one is going to be a side plank. We got 30 seconds each, each side. If you want more of a challenge, you can elevate your feet. If you want to make it easier, crisscross your feet, right? Top leg over the bottom leg. A little easier. You can also bend your knees. So on your knees, your elbows touch the floor. 30 seconds each side, whatever you want to do. Up downs first. We'll get three rounds of everything. Then it's dinner time. Woohoo! Alright, three, two, one. Give me those up downs. Make sure we alternate. Ten more. Five, four, three, two, one. Jackknife crunch. Three, two, one. We show some modifications. You can just hold your legs up and do a crunch, right? Almost like a toe toucher, but you're coming back down. Bring your hands overhead. You could also just do a leg raise if you want on its own, right? We got about 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. All right, side plank next. 30 seconds, any variation you want to do? I'll start with regular. Three, two, one, up, 30 seconds each side. All right, halfway on this side. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, other side in 10 seconds. Still got those 10 seconds in between. Three, two, one, get it. All 
All right, halfway. Okay, we're back to our up downs. Two more rounds. Five, four, three, two, one. We got two sets left. Up downs, alternating. Three, two, one. Here we go. Ten more. Five, four, three, two, one. Jackknife crunch. Three, two, one. Here we go. Halfway now. Five, four, three, two, one. Side plank. Three, two, one. Here we go. Halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. Got the other side. Got those ten seconds. One, two, three. Take it up. We just got one more round after this. Got this. Easy cheesy. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more round. All right, y'all. Uh, Let's get it. One more set, then it's dinner time. Up downs. One, two, three, go. Don't forget to alternate. Get it. Twenty more. Keep on pushing. Come on. Ten more. Five, four, three, two, one. Jackknife crunches, or half crunch, or leg raise. Anything you want. 30 seconds of work, though. One, two, three, go. Any variation. 30 seconds of work. Get it. 20 more. Got ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Side plank time. Sixty seconds left. Three, two, one. All right, let's get it. Last round. Do a tougher one if you can. If you weren't already, lift them up your legs. Right halfway. If you were already lifting up your legs, put a weight on your hip. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. All right, give it 10 seconds, y'all. 
Last one, other side. Three, two, one, and go. Halfway, gang, halfway. Last one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo and that's all she wrote. All right, grab some water. We're gonna stretch in like 30 seconds. Yay, job well done, y'all. Job well done. Fun time as usual. <laughs> if I can barely walk. So get your yoga mats ready or your pillows. We're gonna kneel down. We're gonna do our hip sequence, right? We'll do our kneeling hip flexor stretch, kneeling hamstring then a pigeon, right? Each leg, we'll do about 30 seconds on each stretch. Then after we hit all those, we'll do a butterfly stretch. Make sure those hips are loose. All right, so let's say left knee down first. Right leg out in front. So squeeze that left glute, drive those hips forward. It's about 30 seconds. Front leg straight, toe up, heel down. You're gonna grab that foot with your opposite arm. Then you're gonna reach with your left arm. So that gravity pull that chest down, right? Just do a nice hamstring lower back stretch. Make sure you're breathing. Just relax and breathe. The hard work's over. Next, take it down to a pigeon, All right? So drop down that front leg, keep the front leg bent, straighten out your back leg. Once you get here, drop your chest down as much as you comfortably can. So you can be up here, you can be down here. Find a good place and breathe. side you did. There we go. That feels right. that front leg, grab that foot, the opposite arm. Drop down to a pigeon. If a pigeon stretch is uncomfortable, you can do like a seated figure four instead. Be 
you don't quite understand the pigeon, send me an email. That's kpenya at minor.org. Butterfly stretch now, so you want your feet together. Sliding your feet as close to your body as you can bring them. Just gonna grab the outsides of your feet. And from here, I don't want you to lean forward. I want you to flatten your back out by puffing your chest up. And just hang out here, relax. Let those knees fall to the floor. Let gravity pull your knees down. Just relax and breathe. Nice big chest. hips are good now let's take it up nice and slow we're gonna chest up we're gonna stretch out your chest and shoulders now so you're gonna need a band maybe a broomstick or a yoga strap uh, so grab your objects closer your grip is tougher the stretch is gonna be you want to make the stretch easier wider grip but you're trying to keep your arms straight as you can you're gonna bring that object whatever you have directly behind you. You're gonna feel a nice chest and shoulder stretch right here. Just hold that for about 30 seconds. All right, you wanna increase the stretch, you bring your hands in. You wanna make it easier, use a wider grip, right? You want it to feel good, right? Stretching should always feel good. Be a nice good pull. If it feels pinchy and uncomfortable, it's probably gone too far. Keep it safe, right? Really try to relax as much as we can. Then when you're done, just slowly bring your object back to center. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great night. Enjoy your dinner.